have we got a deal for you. This property's in South Warren. We're on Topher Street, which is like eight and a half mile. You get up into these little suburbs, you'll see this kind of stuff in Toledo too, right? You get up into these suburbs of the more bigger, well-known city, and investors are actually doing better because oftentimes uh, the suburbs have a little bit better city services, a little bit more landlord friendly than the big city, right? I mean, bro, $75,000, you're gonna be able to get a tenant in there for 1,400 bucks. Yes, you gotta spend a little bit of money, but I'm sure you've noticed from the, the bits and pieces of the footage we've been putting on the screen for you, it ain't gonna be much, y'all. There's really not gonna be much you need to spend. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. All right, y'all got a nice little treat for you today. 14124 Topher Road, Warren, Michigan. Okay, this is for all my cats involved, interested in the Detroit market, right? Warren suburb of Detroit, little inner ring suburb action, okay? We're sliding just a bit up north, right? And a lot of times, guys, a lot of people like that watch my show and want to invest in a lot of these cash flow markets, right? Like people are like, yeah, dude, let's get up in the Detroit market. A lot of times, a lot of the better opportunities uh, are actually in the suburbs, right? Like, you know, nationally, you hear about Detroit, right? Nationally, you don't hear anything about Warren. But oftentimes when you get up into these markets, right, like, you know, the Columbus market, same thing. Cleveland, Ohio market, right, right, same thing, right? You get up into these little suburbs, you'll see this kind of stuff in Toledo too, right? You get up into these suburbs of the more bigger, well-known city, and investors are actually doing better because oftentimes – uh, the suburbs have a little bit better city services, a little bit more landlord friendly than the big city, right? No exception here, right? Warren, you're definitely going to see a little bit nicer, a little uptick of like city services, a little bit easier to deal with like from a landlord property management perspective, right? So big time opportunities, right? In this particular property, uh, it's it's like basically – just a pretty much just like a standard unit turn and then you're ready to friggin rock and roll right like i'm sure you're watching the footage right now uh that footage coming to you directly from our friends over at logical property management anytime y'all anytime we're doing business out there in detroit right the detroit market we are working with those guys right uh Stay tuned to the end of this video, too, because, like, what I'm going to give y'all is uh, the completely unedited, unfiltered video tour that you're kind of seeing bits and pieces of right now. And that was performed by the owner of Logical Property Management, right? I work with him side by side all the time. That's my dude, Drew. Brother Drew, as I like to call him. Brother Drew is a badass, longtime real estate investor, okay? Brother Drew puts fucking hot sauce on his cereal. I kid you not. He's a savage. He's the kind of guy that you want in your corner when you're going to be in a market like Detroit, right? Because you need boots on the ground when you're getting into these markets, right? Guys, if you don't have the proper boots on the ground team, how are you going to know the intricacies, the ins and the outs, right? You might be sitting there in California like, yeah, dude, I heard Detroit's great, but you would have never, ever heard of the city of Warren, Michigan, right? For all you know, you have no clue what's going on there, right? You might think that if you're trying to cash in on the up and coming stuff happening in Detroit, that you have to have Detroit as an address, right? Not the case, but you only get that little inside info, those little tidbits, if you actually get quality boots on the ground. If you actually work with people like myself, people like Drew, who know, hey bro, I know everybody's drawn to this area because of the name Detroit, but guess what? Let's just move a little bit, like a few minutes up the road here. Bam! Even better money-making opportunity. I mean, bro, $75,000, you're going to be able to get a tenant in there for 1400 bucks. Yes, you got to spend a little bit of money, but I'm sure you've noticed from the, the bits and pieces of the footage we've been putting on the screen for you, it ain't going to be much, y'all. There's really not going to be much you need to spend, and you could actually spend varying amounts of money. It's kind of going to be up to you. You're going to be able to discuss that with Logical should you uh, decide to move forward with them buy this property from them and have them act as your property management and they'll handle all the construction and uh, tenant turns and things of that nature for you, right? They're going to give you some options, right? Because you can go 
with a super cheap, spend the least amount of money, uh, get a tenant in there super quick, but the tenant might be a little less quality, or you could spend a little bit more and get an even higher quality tenant, right? And if you stick, tor stick with me here through the end of the video, uh, Drew's gonna explain that to you in more detail, right? Because when he does these little video tours that we provide for you guys, man, he's up in there giving you guys like just his off the cuff insight, like specifically narrowing things down, right? Like. He'll be looking at like the baseboard or he'll look at this or look at that. Like the guy gets like super laser focused for you guys. And that is the only thing, uh, the only way you're going to really maximize these investments, guys. If you have a boots on the ground team that is like getting down to that level of detail for you, right? So if you guys are interested in making an offer on this property or have more questions, want more insight, you're just gonna wanna hit up Drew and his team over at Logical directly. Obviously their contact information has been on the screen many times. Tyler's probably got it up on the screen next to my beautiful face right now. It'll be linked below the video, but don't contact him just yet. Like I said, I want you guys to stick around uh, to the complete end of the video because what we're going to drop for you now is Drew's complete unedited tour and you're going to get a lot of like serious, like personal, uh, just from the eyes, right? The mind and the eyes of a dude who's been in the Detroit market for decades, right? And I, I'll be honest, I lied. He doesn't put hot sauce on his cereal. I, I made that up. Whatever. Have we got a deal for you. This property's in South Warren. We're on Topher Street, which is like eight and a half mile. So it is a semi busy street. Not the best place to have uh, a house right on a busy street if you've got a family, but otherwise it's okay. You see right here, there's, well, you can't see it right there. There's no parking, no parking, no standing, anything. So you're stuck with a driveway you gotta be able to park in. But we got a landlord that wants to sell and uh, he's had this property for a while and he's milked it for all he can. Now he wants to sell it and put his money in other things. You can see here, this has been patched several times. Probably needs to be ripped out and redone. You could patch it some more, depending on the type of tenant you want to get. You can continue getting uh, C plus, maybe B minus tenants in this place. Uh, yeah, that weed tree needs to come down. It's overbearing on the driveway there. But, um, you know, or you could fix it up puts a few bucks into it and uh, try to get a better tenant. Uh, you're not gonna get an A1 tenant being on this uh, semi-major road here, but uh, you can get some pretty decent cash flow. So if you look here, yeah, this step's gotta be done a little bit, trip hazard, but uh, you know, could use a new front, or uh, yeah, storm door here. This has been ruined a little bit. Uh, maybe a new light there. I mean, all these little touches don't cost a lot. You gotta be careful, they do add up over time. So right in here, we're doing some work, getting this painted a little bit. Um, it's already had a floor put in it. This is uh, obviously LVP. Uh, we didn't do this, but uh, it would have been nice to make it all the same. It's not even going the same direction, but uh, tenants aren't gonna really mind. You can get away with this kitchen, as we said earlier, or you can get a new kitchen, get it some pizzazz. Again, maybe redo the floor. Uh, over here, this is kind of funky some extra counter space, but this is like an eat-in kitchen. Um, the windows are wood, but they're newer wood windows, so they're pretty good shape. Uh, we got blinds here, I'm getting some new electrical. So if we, I'm sorry, lights. Go over here, you can see we're painting and patching. Little, just a coat closet, no big deal here. One bedroom, you know, it's a bedroom. Nothing big about it, second bedroom. Right here, got a bathroom. You know, it's got a new pedal, newer pedestal sink, good toilet, LVP floors, tub surround. You know, it's good. Right back here, we've got maybe a formal dining room or whatever you want to call it here um, for eating. Again, updated flooring. Back here is another desk area or something you could use it as. And there's a third bedroom over here. You know, again, I don't know who put this in. I don't think it was us, but going this way and then going that way. That makes zero sense, but not a big deal. Backyard, we got a door wall here with the garage. Garage is in decent shape. Could use some uh, gutters. The city doesn't make you do it, though. Wouldn't worry about it. You can see the roof's leaning a little bit there, but it's okay. 
maybe get rid of that tree branch or whatever there is impeding, pinging on the garage, but not much of a backyard. All right, so, and we come over here. There's no basement on this, it's on a crawl. We got a side door here, but uh, we got a furnace, hot water heater. This is a laundry area, so it's built up a little bit here. Um, it's a new side door here, but we could also use one on the front door. This is newer. So there's been a lot of improvements done. It just needs some other TLC, you know, get this stuff taken care of, get new uh, shiny uh, vents, you know, or we can sand, get these sandblasted and just repainted. So um, you can do a little bit with this and you could have a nice little uh, house and, uh, you know, it's probably going to rent for twelve to 1400 depending exactly on how much work you do on it. So, but hey, it's an opportunity. Contact us. We've got lots of them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.